Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Welcome back to my channel. This is Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to reset your Windows password without knowing your current password of your operating system. Now, unfortunately, you have forgotten the password of your Windows operating system. It's going to be a really simple process to understand. I mean, there is one more process wherein you have to make a bootable flash drive, uh, which helps you to bypass the Windows lock screen. But that's a lengthy process altogether. It takes time and it takes efforts as well. Like you have to deep dive into a lot of uh, you know like command lines a lot of things uh, in it comes into place but in this video I'm just gonna give you three commands which will help you to kind of you know tweak around things a little bit and you will be able to bring up the command prompt which will directly open a, a reset password window for yourself and you can reset the password you can get inside your computer so without wasting any further ado let's get started with the video So let's start the video. In this process, we will first make a bootable flash drive for our Windows operating system. To do that, you first have to download the Windows image file. So this is the image file which I have downloaded from Microsoft. You also have to download an application, a software called Rufus. So I have downloaded that as well. I have connected my flash drive to my computer. I'll first right click on this software. I'll click on run as an administrator. I don't want to check for any updates, so I'll click on no. Now from this box, it shows that my flash drive is already connected to my computer and it shows here to click on select and I'll have to search for the image file for Windows OS and I'll click on open. All the settings here should be like this and then you're going to have to just click on start and it will start preparing a bootable flash drive for your Windows operating system. So once you have done preparing a bootable flash drive for Windows operating system, you have to restart your computer and you have to boot from your Windows flash drive. So I'm going to pause the video right here. I'm going to switch the camera to the monitor. And I'll show you all the further process. Now we have switched the camera. This is my computer's monitor screen. When I click on here at the bottom, uh, there's this you know, small you know, icon here which says accessibility. If I click here, it brings me these options. It gives me the accessibility options. Now. We're gonna have to restart the computer and we're gonna have to boot from the flash drive which we just made for our windows. Uh, so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna restart my computer. Great. So we have restarted the computer. I'm pressing the F8 button since this is the ASUS motherboard. So these are the drives which are connected to my computer. So we are going to boot computer from this second partition. I'm gonna press enter. This is the installer window. I'm gonna select my language and I'll click next. I'm gonna click on here which is repair your computer. So once we click on repair your computer, it will come to the screen which says choose an option. We're gonna go for the third one which says troubleshoot. And this will bring the advanced options here. We're gonna have to go for the second one which says command prompt. Now we're gonna have to be really careful while tapping these commands because these are really sensitive commands. Uh, what these commands will do is these commands will probably rename few folders inside the system 32. So, uh, you know, we, ha we are trying to mess with something which is really important for our windows to function so please be specific with these commands uh, please make sure you are entering proper space in between and uh, you know all these commands should be like how i am typing in this command box so i'm going to put this command in the description as well if you guys want you guys can click the photo of the description and you guys can refer to that photo to put these commands so uh, first off we're going to have to go to our c drive since we are not in the c drive so i'm going to put c and i'm going to put the colon and I'm gonna put press enter so right now I'm in C drive now we're gonna to have to access the uh, system 32 folder which is inside the Windows folder inside C drive so we're gonna first put in CD C as in Charles D as in David and then we're gonna put spacebar and then we have to type in uh, Windows and then we're gonna to have to go inside the system 32 folder system 32 so the command is going to be cd then space in between windows 
forward slash system32 and then press enter. So right now we are in the system32 folder in the C drive. Now from here, the important command starts. So these commands are something which will help us to uh, get our work done. So it's gonna be R-E-N, that stands for rename. Then you're gonna have to put in the space in between. And then you're gonna have to put in uh, U-T-I-L, M-A-N, dot E-X-E. So we are renaming the utilman.exe. This application is associated with uh, the icon, which I'm gonna show next. Because I have to give it space. And then you're gonna have to type in uh, utilman.exe.bak. Uh, so we are renaming the utilman.exe to utilman.exe.bak. And now we're gonna have to press enter. Now again, we have to type in one more command that's gonna be REN, then space bar, REN, then space in between. And then you're gonna have to type in uh, cmd.exe. So we are renaming the command.exe to uh, utilman.exe. So what we are doing is we are renaming, we are first renaming the utilman.exe uh, to utilman.exe.bak. This is the backup file and we are changing the command.exe to utilman. So, you know, vice versa. So we're just gonna rename these things and we're gonna press enter. Well, that's it for this window. We are done with entering the command. We are done with the first part of the process. Now we're gonna close the command window. And, we're gonna, and now we're gonna continue to Windows 11. We are back on to the Windows 11 lock screen. I'm gonna first show y'all what we did. Uh, you see this button right here at the bottom, right here. So this is the accessibility button. So what we did is this accessibility button was mapped to uh, utilmanager.exe, the extension to which this accessibility button was mapped. That was util. Uh, man.exe we changed it to command.exe so if we are pressing this button it will open the command prompt so we just replaced the but uh, the extension to which this button was mapped and we uh, changed it to command prompt so instead of this uh, accessibility if we click it will bring up the command prompt now first we'll see if that thing worked let me put in my password I'm gonna put in the password one two three four five six, and uh, you know if I make it visible, as you guys can see, it's one two three four five six right here. Uh, and uh, if I press enter, it will say the password is incorrect. Let me just zoom in a little bit uh, so that you guys can see real time. Okay, perfect. So again, I'm gonna show y'all once again. Uh, Okay, perfect. Now, let me just re-enter the same password, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll just make this password visible. And as you guys can see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll press enter. So I'll click on okay. Now, let's go ahead and click on this button, which is uh, which says accessibility, and it will bring up the command box. Now there's one last command which we have to put. So the command is uh, control space user passwords to so the command is control uh, space user passwords to and I press enter it will bring up this box as you guys can see uh, this is the dialog box which will help us to reset the password for the user uh, let me see if the things are visible okay so he's you see here this is my uh, primary account right here this is my uh, Windows profile and it has given me option to reset the password at the bottom right here I'll click on this button and it's asking me to enter the password so I'll enter the new password which is one two three four five six which earlier was not working again I'm gonna enter one two three four five six again all right real time and uh, I'll press the OK button and I'll press the OK button again and my password has been changed. Right now, right here, I'm gonna put in the same password. Uh, let me just uh, focus here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna enter the same password, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and I'm gonna make this visible as you guys can see here and I'm gonna click here and it just entered into the windows so that's how you change the password of your windows operating system without knowing your current password of your computer so guys that's it for today thanks a lot guys for watching this video I hope this video has provided you all the information you guys needed so these commands will be already in the description if you guys want you guys can just click the snapshot of the description and use those commands to enter into the command prompt uh, please support my channel please give a like to this video if you have liked this video thanks a lot for joining me in this video guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace